today we're off to interview an ethicist, Dr Justin Oakley, from the Centre of Human Bioethics here at Monash University's Faculty of Arts. Well, the Centre for Human Bioethics at Monash University was really the first established research centre in Australia and it was established by Peter Singer and Helga Kuzer and of course both of them are really I think big names in bioethics. Really I've always had an interest in the questions that are central to bioethics because they're questions about the meaning of life, uh, questions about what makes a life worth living and that's a central question for philosophers over the centuries. Uh, and really bioethics is a way of looking at that question in a practical context. The research that we do is very practical and so it's informed by the philosophy but it's addressed really to the issues that matter most to health professionals and I think to society at large. So really an education in bioethics is not only about learning what other people have argued in the field but also about really developing the confidence to put forward your own arguments on these issues and to be able to defend them coherently and plausibly. Really, I think our graduates tend to go into one of three areas. Uh, sometimes they will go, for example, to working in research ethics or clinical ethics as part of a hospital. A second area that we have graduates going into is the law, and in particular working for, say, government bodies like the Guardianship Board. Each state in Australia has a guardianship board and so the guardianship board employ people who have to help health professionals make decisions about patients who are not competent to make their own decisions. A third area that we've had masters graduates go into is really education. Uh, you know, there's a big demand for teaching, for example, medical students about the importance of ethics and you know, what ethics is and what ethical issues are going to arise for them once they graduate. <laughs> I think all of our postgraduate coursework programs can be done by distance education and this really appeals to a lot of students because a lot of our postgrads are people who are working full time, you know, they're very busy, often for example health professionals can be doing shift work uh, and of course they don't all live in Melbourne so uh, you know, it really appeals to them to be able to do the course entirely by distance education. 